The following video was brought to you by WeWalk. Today we're going to take a look at the new WeWalk Cane and WeWalk app. Hang on, we'll be right back. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. If you like content like that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted every time I put out a new video. All right, let's check out the new WeWalk Cane. So the WeWalk Cane has gotten some updates recently, both with hardware and software. If you were to look at the cane though, for all intents and purposes, it looks exactly like it did last year when I did my review. But if you look closely, you'll notice some differences. Uh, one is the speaker. They've improved the speaker in the handle itself, and that's great, better sound quality, that's always good. But the most important change is that they've changed the cane itself, and they've actually partnered up with Ambutech. Ambutech, you guys know it's one of the biggest names in mobility canes for the visually impaired community. So I think it was a fantastic move for WeWalk to partner up with them. And with some improvements to the handle here, that's gonna improve the durability when it comes to dropping. I really like the new cane, the new Ambutech cane here. It feels really sturdy. Um, I was a big fan of the previous cane, the WeWalk cane that they used. I thought, it, I thought it was fine. I thought it was a really good cane. The rolling tip, was great. Uh, now we have a new rolling marshmallow tip from Ambutech. Uh, this one is fine too. This one rolls really, really well. One thing I noticed about the old cane is it tended to rattle. If you shook it, you would hear a rattling, uh, mostly with the tip. This new cane, the new Ambutech style cane, nothing. No rattling, no, sh no clicking, anything. Very, very solid. Of course, it still folds up just like you would expect. Opens up without any problems. Just an overall solid cane. Next, we'll talk about the software improvements. And I think we'll head on home because it's starting to get dark out here. <laughs> and I don't want to be caught at night in the park. One thing I'll mention about the software, if you update the firmware on the WeWalk cane, you can use their new compass system which is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, let's head on back and we'll talk about the app. All right, now let's take a look at the app where a lot of the new updates are gonna be found. First of which is they really listen to the community when designing the app as far as accessibility. When you first launch the app, you need to go through a setup process and part of that is choosing your display colors and the size of your font, whatever is gonna make it easier for you to see. Uh, so right now I'm running the yellow text on a black background, you know, super high contrast, that's what I really like. And these themes are carried throughout the app and even into the maps. One nice thing about the app is, of course, it works great with the WeWalk Cane, but you can also use it as a standalone app. And it's a free app, so you guys could go ahead and download it now and start using it right away. In the Connect WeWalk, What's Around Me button. So I just clicked on What's Around Me, and I'm currently in the food category. So it's listing all the different food options, restaurants, things like that near me. If I want to choose one here, like the first one is Giuseppe's. Giuseppe's Ristorante Italiano, 3,420 feet. Well, Giuseppe's is a fantastic Italian restaurant nearby, so I'm going to double tap on that. Target empty list. Heading. Head your 10 o'clock for 80 feet. Head your 10 o'clock for 80 feet, 0% completed. So it's brought up the directions for me and it's using clock directions. That's a new feature with the app. So it tells me that I need to walk in the direction of 10 o'clock for 80 feet to get to the next step in the directions. It also tells me how much of my trip has been completed. Uh, and since I haven't left yet, it's saying 0%. We can switch to the map view. 10 o'clock for 70 feet, 0% completed. Navigation, switch to map view. We can switch to the map view. Switch to map view. Switch to text view button. 
And you can see the arrow, that's me, it's indicating where I am, and it's indicating the, the direction that I'm pointing. And it is very accurate. The street is Enter just 10 out here for 70 to my feet left. 0% completed. It also continuously updates you. <laughs> and you can change that in the settings. But it, the street is out here to my left, and it is about 10 o'clock from my current position. Let's see if I turn. It turns as well. And that is true. The street that I need to go down is right down here in front of me, right about 12 o'clock. And then you see that the high contrast theme that I chose, the yellow on black, is carried into the map as well. So I'm just going to scroll ahead here and kind of look at my route. And this is, it should take a, yeah, there it is. It takes a right up there and there is Giuseppe's. So I can zoom out, I can take a look at the entire route. This new turn-by-turn -turn directional system that they have with the high contrast and using the clock directions is really, really helpful and really easy to follow. And the best part is when you're connected to your WeWalk cane, all of this is hands-free. You don't have to hold your phone, you don't have to look at your phone, you can put it in your pocket and either use a Bluetooth headset or the speaker directly on the cane. So really great updates to both the hardware of the cane and the app itself. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about the WeWalk cane, including how to use it, things like that, I recommend you check out my previous video where I go through a lot of that. I'll have a link popping out of the corner of the video right here and then also in the description down below. And if you have questions for WeWalk themselves, you can ask your questions through the app, through their in-app chat. Really convenient way to get your questions answered. If you guys are interested in possibly getting a WeWalk cane for yourself, now is the perfect time because they're actually having a holiday special. It's only during the holiday season, but you'll get 10% off your purchase and they'll actually give you a Bluetooth headset that you can use both with the cane or your smartphone. They're going to be shipping the canes very soon, probably by the time this video goes live. Uh, check out their website for more information on that. And something else to note, everyone that purchases a WeWalk cane through the website gets unlimited one-on-one -on -one training. So that's it for this one, guys. Huge thank you to WeWalk once again for sponsoring this video. I'll have all the links and everything, all the information in the description down below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button, share it on social media, and stay tuned to the next video where we do a deeper dive into the WeWalk app. Thanks again, guys. Stand with the blind life. I'll see you next time.